Hi again, welcome to my um, channel and welcome to my review of something slightly different, not tech. Well, it is sort of tech. Um, as you uh, may have known if you've listened to any of the podcasts that I've done or and seen any of the other videos of the moon um, and stuff that I've put on, um, I'm quite a keen um, astronomer. Um, no, it's not astrology. I don't believe in astrology. It's an astronomer. Um, and I've got my own tes telescope. Um and I like to take pictures and videos of stuff. Um, but one of the things that I find quite hard to do is actually to get a decent focus. Uh, it took me forever to figure out my um, how to track um, on, on it. I have a drive that you stick onto the telescope and it's meant to track the object so it um, cancels out the movement of the Earth, etc. It um, wasn't working for ages and then I went to a local astronomy club um, and got a very simple answer and felt a bit stupid for not realising what it was. Um, so... Um, I managed to get out a couple of nights after that um, and I managed to take um, some video of Saturn which you'll be able to see on my channel but um, I just thought I'd quickly show you that one. Um, that is a photo that I took of Saturn via my iPhone. How cool is that? Um, that was used um, using the video I took off the iPhone and then stacking it. Um, and it is slightly edited just to get it a little bit more in focus, but um, as you can see, you can see the uh, the ring, uh, the rings of Saturn really well, and obviously Saturn itself there. And when you think how far that that is, how far away that is compared to um, where I am and where I was, um, and the fact that that was taken via a camera phone. I'm just, it's astonished me. Um, but while I was at the meeting, um, someone, because um, I was talking about not being able to get it in focus correctly, because it's quite difficult to get things in focus on a telescope, um, and obviously your left, right is back to front, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but someone said that um, I should look at uh, one of these, which I'm probably going to pronounce wrong, but I'm going to call it a Benetovia mask, um, which is literally um, a mass that fits over your telescope and then when you point it at a bright star um, you get six lines of light that come off so you got one like that, one like that, one like that and then one like that and then to get it perfectly in focus um, you literally move the focuser up and down until you get the horizontal line um, which is dead centre and I've only managed to use it very quickly um, over the last couple of days because the weather hasn't been very good and due to work, etc. Um, but it does, on the one star that I've managed to, to find it on, it does um, work very well. You can get it right perfectly in focus. Um, invented by a gentleman um, whose name, who is named after, the Benetovi, I think it is. Um, and basically, it's a it's a piece of plastic that's been laser cut. Now you can find information on how to make these yourself, um, and there is he released the design um, into the world um, as an open design and no copyright, etc. Um, which is very good. And you can find templates that you can make your own out of card, etc. Um, but there's a lot you can imagine if you see the very fine lines of there. It's a lot of fiddly stuff. Um, so I thought I'd look for one that's been pre-done, and this one is uh, laser cut out of plastic. It's survived one drop already. I need to take more care of it, um, and it's it's very good. It's very well made. It's nice and um, sturdy piece of plastic. Um, it's called a star shape, as you can see there, an astronomy accessory. Um, and this one is for my particular um, telescope, which is the Explorer 130M. Um, so you can get them for different telescopes because obviously they maybe need to be different sizes um, and it's got uh, rounded edges and then one non-round edge um, and that is basically if you because quite often if you put this on the telescope you'll take it off obviously to take the photos and then you put it down um, and it can roll away and then obviously it will get to that and not be able to roll any further so uh, a nice design and it's got a nice reflective bit on there so you know you've got it on unlike me because I <laughs> knocked it off the first time I had it. Must be more careful. Um, and then obviously you get these two little um, plastic screws which uh, just fit in um, on there. You just screw one in. I'll just do it very quickly. Um, and then you screw the other one in and then literally it just sits on the top um, of your telescope and it just holds it there so when you get it in focus you can take it off nice and easy uh, and put it somewhere safe and not tread on it or knock it over um, 
and get perfect focus. So I'm hoping with um, the sky being clear over the next couple of days um, and work permitting, I'll be able to get out and take some um, decent photos because Saturn is up in the sky at the moment, but it won't be there for much longer. Uh, not easily seen anyway. Um, and it's it's one of the things I really wanted to see and I'm fascinated by it and, and I just really like that photo. So I got this from a company called uh, firstlightoptics.com. That's firstlightoptics.com. They do astronomy stuff. Um, and it was a whole £13.29, um, which I think for the sake of spending hours trying to cut that pattern out of card and then getting it wrong by a millimetre and it all being wrong and not working properly, um, it's not a bad price. So there you go. Um, if you want to have a look at some of the videos I've done for astronomy stuff, uh, there's quite a lot on there of the moon. Um, my one of Saturn is on there as well on my channel. Um, and I do post them on Twitter quite a lot as well. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at IanHRP. I'll put the link at the bottom about there in things because I don't get anecdotes at all um, and you can uh, follow me on there. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this review um, of my Banatovi, if that's how you pronounce it, mask for my telescope. Until next time, see ya, bye.